He here, aka Collector the Hordarian, for the purposes of this here stream. Uh, this is an impromptu stream, as I like to do with these sorts of things. Uh, I just never know when I want to do one, and it kind of jibes with the ADHD brain that I possess. So, uh, hey, let's hear it for spontaneity. Um, so, I do have, uh, a, a, you know, in my persona as Retronathan, you know, where I play like kind of classics and, uh, you know, retro styled kind of games. Um, that one is, I try to do on the regular. That's every Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, usually. Uh, sometimes life gets in the way, as it does um, on occasion, and uh, I'm not able to do that. But I'm just doing these things for fun. You know, it's... Um, uh, yeah, just uh, the Retronathan uh, makes it so that I get to my backlog of games. And it's, uh, and, and honestly, with the collector stuff, um, it's just fun to kind of sit on things for a while and then um, open them all up uh, because it's sort of like Christmas morning. Um, sometimes I forget what I ordered. Uh, there may be some Timu among this, I don't know, but I have a few packages that I want to unbox uh, this evening, so I'm going to get right to it, um, starting with like the smallest one. Actually, there's one that I, I opened um, another time, but I, I wanted to kind of show it off on the stream. It's a, it's a small one, but um, this is somebody that uh, I came across at a local convention called the Mad Monster Party, which it's a very cool convention. They actually get some pretty cool guests. Um, more recently, I'm trying to think of which uh, who was the big one, but I know at one time they had Elvira. I got to get a photo op with that legend. Um, <clears throat> they had uh, some of the folks from the Revenge of the Nerds, which um, I know in, in a modern lens is kind of problematic uh, for, for obvious reasons, but uh, it's still a hilarious movie that I still hold near and dear to my heart. Um, it's just hilarious. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just drenched in, uh, it's, it's, it's a byproduct of its time. I'll just say that. But yeah, they had some of the nerds there before they had, um, oh gosh, what's the guy's name? He's been in like tons of movies as a cop. Uh, he was in Night of the Creeps. Just saw him the other night in uh, Maniac Cop. I have his figure somewhere. Um, anyways, um, Mad Monster Party. Um, there was a, a vendor there, um, and her company was called, uh, Puncture Wound Pins. High quality pins, uh, loved her work and, and just was gushing about it at her booth. And, um, just lo and behold, she had, she had released a, um, a terrifier, a terrifi terrifi terrifier, terrifier pin. Um, that's Art the Clown, uh, who's sort of considered... Uh, one of the new um, staples of horror. I mean, he's uh, about to drop his third official movie. I think he made a debut in a, um, one of those, uh, what do you call, um, sort of collection of short uh, tales kind of movies. Um, but then, yeah, he's had three feature films. The, the third Terrifier drops soon. One cool thing about Terrifier 3, um, just while I'm on it, um, so there's a, a a guy I've been following, a South African guy by the name of Dream Kid. Um, that's his sort of stage name or whatever, obviously. But uh, he plays um, sort of 80s drenched uh, synth wave kind of music, uh, and just is is very talented um, with the instrumental part. Uh, the 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 lyrics, uh, his his lyricism, his voice, uh, I, I think could. It's fine, you know, it's it's more like, uh, has that 90s uh, pop punk kind of tone to it, which I don't love, but, um, I mean, he's just real talented, at least uh, in the instrument instrumentation and composing part, I think. Anyways, he's going to be doing a, um, a tune on the, the new Terrifier soundtrack, so I thought that was pretty damn cool. Um... So speaking of which, let me uh, get this guy out. This is an exclusive pin. Um, I believe it uh, glows. It's called Better Watch Out. So there's the titular Art the Clown. Well, not titular, he's not in the title, but um, the, the uh, well, antagonist, I guess, of um, the movie. But, you know, some people are rooting for him. You know, he's just pure evil uh just looks terrifying 
I mean, I, I love hate clowns, you know, it's like, I think they just, they're just naturally creepy. Um, and yeah, I guess in this one, he's, um, you know, dressing up like Santa and, uh, it's more like Santa slays, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, so I think that's a really cool pin. Um, I need to get maybe a pin board or something. Actually that puncture wounds, uh, pin, puncture wound pins lady, um, uh, custom makes these little coffin um pin boards that are super cool i thought about getting one but um i mean they were a little pricey they were like 75 bucks or something but i mean to support you know a, a small time kind of artist i think is is well worth it in the end so like i kind of kicked myself afterwards for not getting one but maybe next time you know if i see her at the med monster party again so or i mean you can order stuff online too which which is cool all right, so here is a another small package that um, may, uh, fair warning, I may have some Timu stuff in here. Um, I've featured some Timu stuff before. There can be fun stuff in there, but there's also like just kind of practical stuff that we order from there too that's just kind of boring. Like, yeah, eh, called it. This one's just a boring old uh, uh usb stick yay had to get one for my daughter uh two terabytes so it's got a little uh statue of liberty on there coolness okay so i'm wondering if this might be a timu special too it's um it says made in china i mean coming from ontario california which i think oh geez yeah i forgot i ordered this <laughs> Yeah, so I got myself another one of those uh, portable gaming systems. Um, I have a problem. I did have a couple that were, um, well, I'll just go ahead and say stolen from me. You know, I had left them at a hotel and um, they just never got back to me. I inquired about it and I was like, yeah, I know I left them there. And so, yeah, I guess the cleaning crew thought, yeah, cool, um, bonus. So, anyways, I, I think this is one that I had before, but uh, this is the uh, Ambernick RG35XX. So, um, you know, usually comes preloaded with some uh, old school uh, games on there. So, I, I love those. I, I just can't get enough. The one I really want to get is the RG Cube, I think it's called. Uh, it can emulate up to, like, PS2 and GameCube, uh, which is just tremendous. Uh, so... A lot of people are swearing by that one. Um, all right, let's see. Oh, I think this one's already opened. Yeah, so I, I ordered this from Target. Um, Amio, the Smiling Man, uh, rated M for Mature. This is an official Nintendo game. First party, um, I believe. So um, I don't know much about it, but I, you know, I... I it, it looked cool in the trailer. It's uh, sort of like a mystery. Um, I think it's more like a visual novel. Maybe along the lines, a uh, little bit similar to uh, Ace... Um, I was going to say Ace Ventura, but... Uh, what is the... Uh, um, Ace Attorney. Um, or, yeah, that series. So, uh, yeah, I think you're just kind of uh, questioning folks and trying to solve, you know, this mystery and... Uh, it's just something off the beaten path, and um, the, yeah, it's part of the Famicom Detective Club, um, which, I don't know, it just, just seemed cool, so I'm going to give it a go. I believe it's a remake of a classic game, you know, just with updated uh, anime-styled kind of gra uh, graphics there, so. Um, all right, let's see here. This is from Best Buy, roughly sh shaped... Uh, and about the size of a Switch game, so my, my powers of deduction, I'm going to assume that's what it is. And yes, I do recall, I took advantage of a really cool special. Um, it's the new Zelda game, uh, Echoes of Wisdom, where Zelda is in the title and is the title character. So for, for once, um, uh, she gets to be the one who shines. Um, it's got cutesy kind of graphics, but you can always expect some addicting, you know, kind of gameplay with these titles. Um, you can't go wrong with Zelda. I mean, 
it's usually always a good choice. Uh, so um, I have one other thing from Best Buy here, which I want to say may be a, um, a pre-order incentive, um, but I could be wrong. Um, let's have a look, see here. I just need to get my box cutter out to help me a little bit. I have no nails. Oh wait, no, this is not a pre-order incentive. Oh yes, that's right. It's another game that I ordered. <laughs> I didn't even know this existed until fairly recently. The Karate Kid Street Rumble. Um, I took a gander at the graphics and I, it's, I always have a hard time kind of showing that on here because of the glare and whatnot but it's uh it's all it's colorful pixelated graphics uh done in the style of like super nintendo sega genesis um but uh, definitely my cup of tea i think it's a side scrolling beat em up kind of game um and definitely the kind of thing that i'll will, will uh hopefully be playing on a upcoming stream of uh retronathan so um well I, what i was saying before before my adhd brain kind of flitted about like a moth um uh, i took advantage of like this really cool deal when i still had the um uh, get the Best Buy membership. I forget what it's called, but you have like the standard that's free. But then if you pay like, I don't know, I think it's like 50 bucks a year or something. Um, you can get like some really cool deals. Um, and this one was like buy two, get one free. So I was ordering up several, even like pre-orders. You could, you could add to the, the list there. So, um, I took advantage because I knew mine was about to, to run out. Um, all right, so let's see what we got here. Um, I think I'm gonna do this one next. I'm I'm honestly very puzzled by this one. This says it's from Morpheus Records, okay, and um, I don't recall ordering uh, a record. Um, so let's see what this. Oh, jeez. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. Wow, look at this. Look at that. That is gorgeous. Okay, so this is part of a Kickstarter fulfillment. Um, okay, th this is a, a title called Atomic Owl. It's a game I supported on, on TikTok. As you can see, it's very neon drenched, um, very colorful. I love the style of the game. Cyberpunk. Um, so yeah, this is, looks like Xenon, X-E-N-N-O-N, -N -N, uh, is, is one of the contributing artists. You've got uh, Shibuya 64. So see those down there. Um, this is incredible, man. I, I didn't even realize my pledge came with the, uh, the soundtrack. I may just kind of do what I do with records. I'm, I'm terrible, I know. Um, I do have a record player, but I don't often um, fire it up. Uh, to be quite honest, like I will, you know, put records in like frames and just kind of throw them up on the wall. You can see something back there. Uh, but uh, that's maybe what I'll do with that because I mean, that's just gorgeous art. Um, okay, so how about we do Let's do this one next. Vinegar Syndrome. They've got this new tape seal in the box, which is very cool. Very punk rock, skate vibes. You know, love that. It's like I almost don't want to damage that because it's just, it's just so cool. But, you know, hey, got to get the box open. So, um, I wonder, wonder if they sell that tape, you know, just... Wouldn't be surprised. They they definitely are are pretty good with their merch in terms of having a bunch. Um, okay, so <laughs> this was a first for me. I just went ahead and ordered it because these tend to go fairly quickly. Um, I ordered a a VHS of of Rad, um, and when you open it up, I think it like lights up and, and whatnot. It's um, just like a super snazzy presentation for this classic 80s gem. Um, 
yeah so uh i I've, I've missed out on their light up vhs versions before and i was like fool me once shame on you fool me twice shame on me um got some uh slip covers in the mix uh just for some movies that i already have um but you know it's always nice to have some alternative uh slip covers here's miami connection uh got the dragon sound shirt on the back there super duper cool um also it looks like the same artist did uh surf 2 um very cool collage kind of feel to that um and i have yet to watch surf 2 i need to rectify that so this was part of a, a sale uh, and the nice thing is when, when they're doing a sale, it's it, it's usually over several days. And each day, you know, they'll feature new things. And then, you know, it, when you're checking out, you can just kind of, for shipping, you, you click on add to my order, add to my existing order. So they ship it all together. It's cheaper. It's, it's great. So um, cool. Look at this one. This is called Hell's Trap. Um look just from that cover alone this is a nice slip cover look at that um the trampa inferno infernal um is the og name i think um uh yeah so this one is one of those um you know i, I think it has elements that are cribbed from you know they're inspired by like you know nightmare on elm street you know with the the clawed hand, you know, but it's, uh, takes place in the woods and, um, it's just, you know, the, this, the killer's just kind of stalking, I think people that are camping or something like that. So, uh, just off the beaten path, you know, like, um, you think you're familiar with, with, with slashers and then it's like, Oh no, wait, there's other whole other countries that contributed to the genre, you know, like check it out. Um, I mean, I'm admittedly, one that was very insular in that way but i just didn't have the the means or i i didn't i didn't run in circles where i knew about how these things existed and that's what vinegar syndrome is is great for you know they curate um just kick ass you know off the beaten path genre kind of films uh and, and they give them stunning presentations um usually upscaled and get the the, the most crisp print that they can and digitally transfer, you know, to, uh, to Blu-ray and or 4k. And, um, that's why I love them. They're great. Uh, sort of like my other, one of my other favorites that I, I ran about and, and rave about in here, um, limited run games committed to keeping physical media alive. Well, vinegar syndromes, you know, the name itself is about that process that, you know, when a film basically turns into vinegar, if it's been stored too long without preservation. And so these are their, uh, attempts to preserve movies that deserve preservation because they're just not just because they're not Oscar contenders doesn't mean they don't have value. Um, got some others in here. This I was glad I grabbed. I thought I wouldn't be able to get this one. Uh, it's called Televised Terror Volume One, and that's yes, actually um, Frodo or um, Elijah Wood <laughs> as a kid. These uh, there's three made for tv movies on here uh are you in the house alone calendar girl murders child in the night i believe they were late 70s early 80s uh films that don't you know that once they get aired they get kind of lost and whatever so again they um vinegar syndrome uh or maybe a partner label might have done this no no vinegar syndrome did it so yeah when they originally featured this one i was gonna get it um featured this one on sale and I just missed it. So I just happened to nab it in this cell and I was happy about that. Um, I got this one, Voyage of the Rock Aliens, uh, probably because it was fairly cheap. I think I already own this one, but I like to get extras of things just in case, you know, if I want a gift uh, to folks, um, you know, obviously folks that appreciate this sort of thing, some people would get it and be like, what the hell is this, uh, you know? But Voyage of the Rock Aliens is basically like, Greece, but you know a sci-fi which i think is pretty damn cool um let's see got some others in here um this here i actually have this one already too sons of steel 
but man, it looks like a tremendous film. This is an exploitation. Uh, so Australia was cranking out some genre films, and this one looks just tremendous. Um, I love the slipcover, and I, like I said, I already have it, but again, it may serve as like a gift. Um, this one I just kind of bought blind. It's called Amanda and the Alien. I mean, look at that cover art, real cheesy. Um, and I think this is like from the 90s, I want to say. And people were kind of raving about it. And I'm like, you know what? Uh, let's go. Let's give it a go. So, um, yeah, the um, most folks on there, they're, uh, for, you know, they're obviously they're like minded. So you come to, you know, you read their reviews and, you know, it gives you a flavor. And I'm like, yeah, that, that sounds like something I'd like. So you, you go ahead and you get it. But I love this cover. It just looks like a classic, like, not Judy Bloom, but uh, maybe Sweet Valley High, like book cover or something like that. It's very cool. Um, this here, Love on Delivery. Look how psychedelic that looks, man. I mean, that's like, wow. Like, what's up with that, like, weird grinning Garfield? Um, and then look at this side here. Um just looks bonkers i remember seeing you know i they'll have the trailers on there that you can check out and um i just remember this one just seeming so weird uh, i just love weird movies man you know and uh vinegar syndrome uh, they 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 usually don't steer steer me wrong so um well maybe that so i have another sons of steel um Maybe I thought I had ordered it before, but this was my first time, and I just went ahead and nabbed two. But or maybe I do. I need to double check, and then maybe I have three copies now. I don't know. But again, like I said, good for gifting to like-minded folks. Okay, because um, I don't know that you're going to convert anybody that's not into um, weirdness. Um, okay, like my wife, she would not sit through any of those, and that's fine. You know she she recognizes it's my thing you know and we don't have to love the same things um, we can share other stuff um okay this last thing i'm opening is trap toys um let's see if i got the one of the variants uh it's kind of like you know funko does the chase um so this figure was made exclusive to people who were the uh part of their patreon uh their patreon subscribers so um just and it was well timed too because it dropped right around as far as like them producing it and getting it sent out right around the time that uh the new beetlejuice movie dropped um and this is od beetlejuice so old dirty bastard from back in the day um made into see that's what they do well the trap toys they do mashups of like hip-hop icons and rap icons um and you know just kind of mash them up with like pop culture and um it's incredible. Oh my gosh. I love that little extra things that they do. So you've got a little pin, a little trap toys pin that's done in the style of Wu Tang. Um, a little logo there. It's a little shininess. That's cool. Um, ODB has the snake. Uh, Another ODB sticker, OD, OD Beetlejuice. Um, wow, even got like a little pin in here. Look at that. That's so cool. All right, so. Uh, figures are wrapped. The figure is wrapped. Oh my gosh. They even have some other goodies in here. Um, a bunch of these. Little, little fly stickers. You can see that. Um, we've got another sticker of just ODB right here. Look at that. Um, and they always um, personalize them with these little numbered cards. This is number 16. So... Very cool. All right, I'm gonna try to open this up here. Fairly careful. I don't wanna 
ruin anything. It looks like I got the standard version, but just which is fine. I love it. It looks beautiful. Um, check this out. OD Beetlejuice. It's showtime, y'all. Yeah. Um, I love this art, man. Look at that. Just gorgeous. These guys always come correct, man. They, they bring the fire. So, thank you, Trap Toys. Another banger of a figure. I need to figure out how to get all my Trap Toy stuff displayed, man. It's, um, I just, I gotta, I gotta rework the man cave, you know. It's kind of a hot mess, which, you know, that's just kind of how I roll, you know. Again, with the ADHD and all that, but, uh, can always improve. All right. Well, that about some, that's that's about it. I think I don't I don't see anything. Uh, wait, no, nothing else. Um, yeah. So uh, I don't think anybody popped in live tonight. That's okay. Uh, again, these are like impromptu, so um, no worries there. But uh, I will, as I do, upload to YouTube where you can find other. Uh, collector videos of my unboxings, as I like to call them. It just sounds more epic. Um, you can find me as uh, Retronathan on there when I'm doing the classic kind of streams. Um, and uh, for right now, I'm really the only one kind of doing content under the Geeks Like Us umbrella, but we may periodically, um, you know, get some new stuff in eventually. But I know Drs. R Ryan Kelly and uh, Megan Connell, Connell um, uh, who founded Geeks Like Us, I had just been mad busy, you know, just starting up a, a practice, um, a mental health practice called Health Quest. So um, we may get subsumed under that, the Geeks Like Us brand. I don't know. I keep saying that, but uh, <laughs> I guess they'll get to it when they get to it. But for now, I'm just going to keep doing what I do. And, uh, you know, if somebody wants to check it out, cool. Uh, hit me up, you know, if uh, you like the video and uh, just, just let me know, like, um, Share your thoughts. Uh, we like to promote like a geek community uh, where folks can just geek the hell out. And, you know, um, uh, we have a Discord and everything too. Ask for an invite if, uh, if you want to be a part of that. Would you say play nice, you know? But as I like to say, keep it geeky and uh, hope to see you at the next one. See ya.